All right, guys, Caden Curry. What's up? Caden, now that you have a year under your belt, like how much more comfortable do you feel this spring? Uh, I mean, definitely just getting back out there and having a year under my belt. I feel like us as a unit, too, are just all kind of taking that next step, and we're all getting better, and we're just all, like, just improving our game every day. How much do you feel like you're ready to take that jump this year to be a guy who's out there playing a lot every game? Um, I mean, definitely, I mean, all of us are just trying to take that next step, losing some players. So uh, just working every day and just trying to make our unit as one, just be the best that we can. Um, I mean, definitely get my weight up. I lost some speed, so just trying to get that back. And uh, I know just or just trying to get myself better and just trying to get myself back to playing like I was when I was that skinny, but same weight, getting up in weight. So just trying to get all that maintained. How much different is your weight? Um, about 10 to 15 pounds. You feel good now? Moving around. Oh, yeah, definitely. I feel like myself has gotten a lot more elusive and faster. So what are you at right now? Okay. I'm around 260. Yeah. Was there a frustration last year for you a little bit as, as the season went on? About um, not, not really, maybe honestly. Not playing maybe the way you wanted to play? Or, uh, I mean, not playing enough. Last whatever. year, I feel like I was just kind of taking it in from my older players, the older roles, and just seeing how they were playing the game and learning off of them every day. And I kind of just, I kind of enjoyed that, just seeing them and kind of just getting every little thing from them. So I think like I can use that for my game this year. What feels different about this defense compared to this time of year? Obviously, you were brand new coming in here and stuff. But do you feel like even the approach has changed from you guys from a maybe strategy standpoint? Um, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel like us as a unit, we definitely are understanding communicating better as a whole unit, and uh, we're just honestly getting better every day. Okay. Do you feel a different sense of urgency this year with Zach gone and Javante and Tyler, that you're a guy who has to play a lot now? Um, I mean, us as a unit, we all have to step up. I mean, all of us have to take that next role. So we're all kind of taking that role on, and we're all working together to be better and to be the best that we can as a unit. You're a defensive, and you go against these guys. Obviously, you're replacing two tackles. Who is standing out to you right now uh, as far as the offensive tackles go? Um, I mean, really all of them. They all took the next step in their game. They're all really working really hard, and I feel like they're all just being the best players that they can be at the moment. Then for you personally, what's the – biggest thing you feel you need to work on to in playing time this fall? Um, just really getting my speed back up to the way I had it last year and uh, just learning every day and getting better every day. So how do you think speed is different today? Just, uh, that's a really hard question, honestly. <laughs> just kind of working every day, getting, getting that work in with Coach Mick and uh, just finding the little ways to make it better. You can be anything. You keep bringing up the speed aspect. Do you have to get used to being this heavy? Um, it's definitely different. It's the heaviest I've ever been, but uh, I feel like it's not. It's not gonna be that hard. It's not like I have to work on it it's like a, every day, like all day, every day. But I feel like it'll come naturally once I just keep working and getting better. Do you see that more in like your get off or like when you're actually rushing the pass? Just all aspects, really. I'm trying to get everything faster. Where, where they have you? Like where are you playing? Which, which side are y'all flipping, flopping, or just? Yeah, we kind of just yeah. flip both ways. Yeah. Did they did they look at you much at the uh, at the jack? Okay. And are they still um, I feel like Coach Knowles is still working all that out, and uh, I mean, I'm not. I'm just gonna trust him. Whatever he feels like is best for the team, and then I'm just gonna take on that role, whatever he gives me. Yeah, Keaton, when uh, when veteran guys, I mean, Zach brought you up at the combine. Mm -hmm. Who's the one who's gonna come on? He said, Caden. When, when that phrase comes in for you, did you even hear that? Or if I'm just telling you for the time, what does that mean to hear that? I mean, yeah, I definitely saw it on the medias and stuff, but I mean, it's definitely a blessing from him because I really looked up to him last year as a player and I uh, just worked next to him every day and just seeing how he sees that in me, really, it's a big blessing. So what, what is it that you think that those guys see in you? Um, honestly, I think they just saw me work hard, really. All, the whole unit, really, we all just worked really hard, and he maybe saw me stick out, I don't know. But, uh, I mean, if that's what he did, I mean, I'm gracious of it. <laughs> what have you seen from Kenyatta and Amari, how those guys developed in their first year? I mean, they're really stepping up. I mean, all of them really are all stepping up, and they're all taking on that role they need to, and, uh, I mean, they're just working really hard. What is the battle cry of the defensive front this year? Because we were... To, and folks, uh, we have Zen Maholski at the 10. quick to criticize Zen what was going on at the defensive 10. secondary mm -hmm. times last year. And Jack kind of touched on it. You know, the, the defensive front could have gotten there too and changed some things, like even against Georgia in that fourth quarter. You know what I mean? Just 
what, what sort of y'all's battle cry, I guess? For I mean, all of us really just need to take that next level in our game and just understanding the defense that Coach Knowles brought in. I feel like we're all just kind of learning it better and we're all understanding it more and more every day and we're just going to be able to communicate better and just be able to work as one out there. Okay, the way we saw you flash in September, I think we thought there's going to be more coming. I know that Coach Jay makes those decisions and you'll do whatever the coach asks, but did you start, did you sense then that like, I might have a bigger role as the year goes on and it didn't quite play out that way? I mean, I got my roles on special teams, I felt like. I mean, any way, honestly, I could have get on the field. I feel like that was the best part for me that year. And I felt like I did the most I could for the team, and I feel like I could have done more too. But, uh, I mean, just really taking it on next year and putting kind of a fire under me to keep wanting to get better. You look like a maniac on special teams. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Hey, how much do you enjoy that part? Really, just anything, getting to the ball, keeping people away from the ball. I love it. It's just what I love about the game. Kind of what I was about to ask. It seems like scoop position like an offense it's easy to see why special teams are translate pretty easily mm -hmm. to your position defensive end how does special teams translate exactly to playing defensive end I mean really anything I mean just getting to the ball getting off blocks keeping people away from the ball that's kind of just all kind of all this pitches in a little bit here and there and you kind of just feed off of every little thing and it kind of just makes you better as a player do you feel like Team more helps with the speed of the game, even though it's not playing defensive end. Like yeah, that too, teams. really. Just seeing how everything moves so fastly and just kind of reading it all at once, it makes you a better player all around. Good. Yep. All right, thank Thanks, you. Thanks, kid. Appreciate it. <laughs>